Welcome to the Unified Functional Testing Demonstration. In this demonstration, we are going to show you how to use HP Service Test and HP Functional Testing software to create a unified functional test. We'll begin with HP Service Test. Let's create a new test. Once we open our new test, we can see a visual test designer in the middle, a toolbox to our left, and a property sheet to our right. Before we begin, we must import a service. We can import a service from either a URL or a UDDI, or from a file or ALMQC application component. Once we've imported our service, we can see all the actions underneath it. Let's begin by dragging the Get Flights action into our test flow. Once we drag our action into our test flow, we can see all the input parameters and all the output parameters from the response in our property sheet. If we click on a text component, we can see that the input is in fact a SOAP envelope. The grid section represents the SOAP envelope in a graphical way and allows us to easily select input values. Now we've set our input values, let's run our test. We can see the progress of our run in the output window. Once the run completes, you can see a unified functional test report. At this stage, everything passed. Let's add another action to our test flow. We will add a create flight order. For the flight number, we in fact need to grab it from the previous response. So we'll use a link button to specify a link source. Let's grab the flight number. We will also add a checkpoint to make sure that our price is always greater than zero. Okay, let's run this test again. We can see that once again, everything has passed. When we carried the data over from our get flights action to our create flights action, you can see that carryover has been represented by an arrow. We can also data drive this test. So let's data drive the class component. We will create a local table to specify all the available values for class. Now that we have a data table, we will link a class to the data source column. 
as we can see, it is now linked. We will also amend the test flow to make sure it iterates through every single column. Let's give this test another run. Now you can see that the test went through three iterations. We can also see the request and response for each of those three iterations. We can see in the first one, the class was set to economy. In the second one, the class was set to business. And in the third one, a class was set to first. In this case, everything has passed again. We will now create a functional test and tie it into our service test. Let's open Quick Test Professional and create a new test. We'll begin by recording against a flight application. For this demonstration, we will assume that we have some components ready, sorry, some GUI components ready. These GUI components are the logon screen. and the select flight screen. At this stage, we no longer have any more GUI screens ready, but we do have a service component ready, that is the create flight order. So we will stop recording a GUI component and we will continue with our service testing. What we need to do is pass some data from a quick test professional test into our service test. I want to pass the London and Portland values into the create flight order. So I will specify some output parameters for this test. I prefer to work in the expert view, but you can also work with a keyword view. What I will do is take this section out into a function. Now let's move the from port and to port values to our output parameters.
if we look at our keyword view, we can see that our arguments are being assigned to the from port and to port values. Let's save this test. Now let's go back to our service test and add a unified functional test component to our test flow. We will add it above our loop so that it is not called every single iteration. I have an error at the top. It tells me that a QDP test path must be selected. So we'll go to select QTP test. I will select the QTP test I have just created. You can see that arrival city and departure city parameters displayed in our test flow. Now, instead of hot coding our departure city and arrival city input parameters, we can assign this to the output parameters of our QTP test. We'll assign departure city to departure city and arrival city naturally to arrival city. You can see this assignment being represented by the arrows on our test canvas. This test is starting to get quite complex. Let's run it again. We can see the GUI component of a test running at the moment. These are the steps that we have previously recorded. Now we are moving into the service test component. And now you can see the Unified Functional Testing Report. We have a QTP test component. Followed by a service test component with all the three iterations. and we are happy that everything has passed. This concludes the demonstration of unified functional testing. Thank you for watching.